folks. If you're watching this on YouTube, this is the next game in my uh, playthrough of some of the Steam Next Fest demos. It's Homeworld 3, one of the classic RTS games, um, 3D in nature, which was a, uh, a difference from some of the classic uh, other classics like StarCraft, WarCraft, uh, Command and Conquer, and so on. So we're going to get right into it. Um, oh, it's a license agreement. Sure. Terms of service. I'm sure they don't want my firstborn or anything. Honestly, they can have him. I am in English. I'm just going to leave that as is. Overall volume. Seems fine. We'll adjust these if needed. Yes, we want subtitles. Uh, the colors are fine because I'm not colorblind. Orbit controls. Only well focused. We'll go with modern. I do remember and you know what was used to these in the past. All right. All right, let's do the tutorial. Let's get in there. Training will begin with reviewing and testing fleet functionality necessary for future missions. are expressed as objectives. Missions may require multiple objectives to be accomplished, either linearly or concurrently. Mm -hmm. Situational awareness is key for control over the battlefield. To look around with the camera, the camera must be engaged by pressing and holding right mouse button. Using modern controls, the camera will look around the point of view. Practice rotating your view. Rotate your view to get a better angle of the mission area. Center the view on the mothership. Now rotate to look at the asteroid bay. And now rotate your view to look at the friendly carrier. Uh, oh, there Next it is. is moving your view. Attempt this now. To translate the camera around, by default, the camera must be engaged by pressing right mouse. W and S move forward and back. D and A, uh, left and right. E and Q are up and down. Okay. Let's so do this. Move your view to closely view the nearby asteroid bay. Finally. Adjust the height of your view to gain or reduce elevation in the mission area. Attempt to gain a close view of the Allied carrier above now. Scroll wheel will zoom the camera forward and backward. Okay. The zoom command can accomplish the same task, albeit more easily. Try this now. At any time, the mothership can be quickly returned to via a dedicated command. Try this now. There are a few built-in shortcuts to quickly select important units. Backspace to select a valid production unit, preferring the mothership. F4 selects all military units, and home cycles the camera between all production-capable units. Operations. OK. 
Okay, pressing space or clicking on the button at the lower center of the HUD will toggle the sensors manager view. The sensors manager is critical for quickly surveying the entire mission area all at once. Good. The direction of critical positions in the mission area will be shown on the sensors gyro. The directional gyro is the spherical display located in the lower center of the screen. And combat indicators are red by default and point towards a combat zone. Objective markers are yellow. Flagship is blue. The first marker shows the direction of the mothership. This second marker points towards objectives and related points of interest. Finally, the last marker indicates the direction of any combat events currently underway. The sensors manager allows you to see the positions of the fleet, as well as their line of sight. Orders can also be issued from this view. All units have a sensors range, their effective sighting radius as a sphere around them. Units outside this range are usually undetectable, and these areas are the dark fields of the sensors manager. All units have differing sensors range. Spreading ships out, or building units that specialize in high sensor range, can provide crucial information on enemy positions. Resources are highlighted with triangular points of interest. Exit the sensors manager to continue. At any time, a tactical pause can be issued. Use this to your advantage to plan or issue orders under high stress or time critical situations. Initiate and then cancel a tactical pause now. Note that while paused, units cannot react to orders. Likewise, objectives cannot be completed. Mm -hmm. Operation speed can be reduced by intervals of 25% using the dedicated command. Try this now. Before beginning operations, we will focus on the mothership. Press middle mouse or alt F to focus the camera on the selected object. Focusing on an already focused object, bring the camera in closer. Alternatively, alt left mouse button on an object to focus the camera on it without changing the selection. This can be done with a dedicated command to enter a focused view. Try this now. Channel open, stand by. When ships have been focused on, your view will be set to orbit around the subject. Attempt to orbit your view around the mothership with it in focus. Your view can also be zoomed in and out from the subject. Try this now. Now for commands. All unit operations begin by designating a unit to issue orders to. Either left click the unit or its tactical class icon, or click and drag a box. Holding shift while you select adds it to a group. Double click on a unit to select all on screen units of that type. Either click an empty space, create an empty band box, or press escape. Military priority. Start by selecting the resource controller. Now, yeah. ready to copy. Not all ships are combat vessels, but each class of ship has a unique role, function, and set of abilities. The mothership is a slow but well-armored shipyard, capable of fending off rudimentary threats on its own. Mm -hmm. The resource controller's resource ability is used to harvest resource units, RUs, primarily from resource patches found in asteroids or structural debris. 
to produce additional units for the fleet or research new tech to enhance the fleet, resources are required. Asteroids, containers, the surface of ancient megalithic structures. And then we have... With the resource controller selected, begin a resource operation. These RUs will be used in further ship production and research. Additional resource controllers allow the collection of RUs from multiple resource sites at the same time. Uh-huh. Resource controllers are unarmed and should be protected. While very vulnerable, mm -hmm. they have several additional uses, including recovering mission vital objectives in the AO, and in some circumstances, even capturing enemy ships. Growing the fleet is essential for every operation. Some units and their abilities require research before they can be produced or used. Research can be done via the build management panel. Hovering the cursor over an entry will display research prerequisites, if any. Press B or click the Build and Research button in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Left-click on the Upgrade button next to either a unit or unit category to expand or collapse the research available for that unit. Left to begin research. Deposit with middle mouse. Right-click to cancel. Open the Build and Research command interface to begin unit production. In some instances, technology must be researched before production can begin. Recon strike craft are now available. Research in order to produce a small contingent of ships for the fleet. Now that the technology is available, the fleet can be reinforced. Produce units to grow the fleet to improve the ability to respond to the type and scope of engagements. B or click build and research, left click. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll figure this out. Mother ships and carriers specialize in unit production. Larger or more powerful ships take longer to build, as well as more resources. If the fleet runs out of resources, production will stall during its creation. Attention. Building some recon strike craft. Receiving. Go. We got five. We'll need a contingent of recon strike craft. <laughs> well, we got them. Units can be selected for orders like non-military ones, but all military units can be selected at once through the dedicated command. Try this now. Move the contingent of recon ships to the marked point to scout beyond our position. To issue a movement order, select at least one unit capable of moving, then tap right-click on a surface to issue the movement order to that location. Alternatively, click or press on the hotkey of the movement ability button or press right-click in empty space to activate the movement disk. Ah, yes, I remember this. Okay. Our units can take advantage of terrain as a shield against oncoming threats. During combat, pilots will attempt to take advantage of whatever cover is nearby. But giving them path directions that take advantage of cover can be paramount to mission success. Where do they want to go? Ops, controller, we are in position. Collectors are active. the strike craft to the marked destination near the terrain. Oh, <laughs> destination. There. Coordinates confirmed. Units can also be directed to positions out in open space. Move complete. Ah, uh, yes, I'm remembering. It's freaking cool. Attention, hostile presence detected ahead. Uh, 
Control, left click. Direct our units to engage the hostile presence. Check target, close range. Formations organize units into certain shapes or arrangements. Okay. Start a new formation. Formations change how ships align themselves in relation to one another. Formations can affect grouping, ability to focus fire damage, and even vulnerability to certain weapon types. In addition to placing units in formation, behavior can be fine-tuned through stances. Aggressive, evasive, and neutral. Stance influences many factors, including unit formations, attack patterns, and cover usage. Engage anything that chirps out there. Allied ships inbound. Get me scopes on that thing. Don't lose visual. Break back. Break their track. Go. They're all over me. Receiving. Check target. Close range. Enemy strike craft closing fast. Priority alert. Strike craft suffering heavy losses. Hostiles destroyed. Transferring command of the Allied Interceptor strike craft to you now. Your ships have suffered casualties. Replace and reinforce the fleet as resources become available. Units can be quickly repaired by sending them to dock with either the mothership or a carrier. Dock with the carrier now. Send message. Ops, control elite. Operations underway. DC, command. Interceptors are stacked and ready. As mentioned prior, carriers can also build units. Switch to the newly transferred carrier in the build menu to begin unit production from it. To bolster our fleet, build additional interceptors from the carrier now. That strike craft was built from the mothership rather than the carrier. Be certain to designate the carrier from the build panel. Across a battlefield. 
Update ROE to defensive. Ready to copy. Okay, we're building. Bolstering unit numbers is only one way to reinforce the fleet. New abilities for units can also be researched, which will give units extra utility or an edge in battle. Begin researching the ability upgrade for interceptors. it applies to. Most units will not use their abilities automatically and must receive direct orders. With good timing, this can turn the tide of an operation. Test the newly researched ability now. Send transmission. Good. The ability will be active for a short period of time before going on cooldown. Using unit abilities frequently will give you an advantage in battle. All right. The next location will allow units to take advantage of the tunnel to navigate, shielding them in the event of oncoming fire. Direct the contingent to the target position. Send message. Ready to copy. Send message. Interceptor reads. Vector set. Copy. On our way. The recon receiving. Send message. Receiving. Acknowledged. Recon on location. strike craft to the new location. Interceptor reads. Coordinates confirmed. DC flight on your call. We got it. Receiving. Roger, we confirm. All right, uh, we want right. the new location is located above our present locale. Interceptor reads. Your new movement order will have to include a vertical component. 
which I just did. Because it goes there, and then it goes there. They're already on the way. Ready to copy. Destination confirmed. Hostiles are intercepting a friendly carrier. We must provide aid. Attack the enemies now. Successful. My carrier got blown up. For our main operations. You may exit basic combat training or remain for instructions on more advanced operations. Uh, let's continue the tutorial. Orders, such as movement directives can be queued. Ships will carry out these orders in sequence. Though orders such as attacking or using special abilities will prevent further orders from queuing. Queue several orders now. Right, Send message. Let's take a look. Send message. Flight adjust for escort. Come in, lead. How copy? Vector set on route. Go full viz and keep it loose out there. Recon. Move complete. Attempt to queue several movement orders from one unit or a group of them. All right, so coordinates confirmed. There. Finally, 
Friendly ships can be assigned to a group for quick reference in and across the battlefield. Control one through control zero is all right. Yeah, and then one to zero. We all know Assign how that works. Assign warships to a control group. Scout on station. So, like, if I wanted to take those, send transmission. I make that. Once assigned, a control group can be quickly found across the battlefield and can be useful while attempting to manage several different battles at once. A ship can even belong to several control groups for very fine control over the fleet. Some ships are capable of laying mines, providing support via area denial. Hmm. Lay mines using any pattern. Send transmission. Send transmission. Send message. Lay a group of mines using any of the available patterns. What ships can I use to lay mines? Figured it out. It takes time to lay mines. If a ship laying mines is interrupted at any point, any existing mines will be active, but the shape may not have full coverage. Ensure mine laying ships have enough time to allow for full pattern coverage. In some situations, persistent area denial or defense of a certain position is crucial for victory. Deploy a turret. Does it matter where?
deploy order can be issued regardless of the distance between the turret and the target surface. Turrets can be redeployed without first undeploying them if desired. Simply issue a deploy order to a new location. Hmm. Multiple turrets can also be deployed in rapid succession, allowing groups of turrets to quickly secure one or more locations. Multiple turret types exist. Select the one best suited to the situation and goals of the mission. Congratulations. We've now reviewed all techniques required for effective fleet management. All right, so we're getting the feel for it. It's been a long time since I've played a, a home world game, but I do remember a little bit. Well, I don't know if I want to play against someone. <laughs> uh, we'll just do a quick play. It's searching. Assuming we can get into a game. This feels much different than Stormgate in that it feels polished. It feels it feels ready to launch, to be honest. Like this is ready to go, this game. Looks nice. Still has that unique feel. Still feels like a homeworld game. I like it. definitely something I want to try more. I'm hopeful maybe it'll be on Game Pass. I'd really like this would be a good Game Pass game. Yeah, we might not be Yeah, I think we I think we exit. So impressions are feels good. Feels like a home world game. Definitely one I want to check out more of. Yeah. Can't say anything negative yet. Uh, we'll have to try it again maybe when there's more people playing to uh to give the multiplayer a try. But I Really, for the for the homeworld games, I was always about the story. So, I don't know. We'll try this again. Uh, this will be one I might revisit. 